Hi everybody, it's Sam here from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So as promised, I have made a mini satchel backpack. So I shared a Valentine's style a couple of weeks ago maybe. I'll link that one up here. So that's a larger one. And then as I was making it, I thought to myself it would look adorable in a smaller size. So this is using two sheets of eight by eight. And I think I'm even gonna make one using six by six paper. So there might even be a dinky one. So we'll call this the mini and then look out because I'm sure I'm gonna do a dinky version. So let me show you how I've made it. So this is the Butterfly Kisses 8x8 paper pad that I'm using. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm raving about it all the time, as you can probably tell, but that's what I'm using today. So I've picked this time this striped paper. So I've got two sheets. Like I said, I am using a paper, it works fine, but if you'd rather, you're gonna put something heavier into this, then I'd go down that cardstock route and use something that's like 220 or above. We'll go through all of those bits and pieces later. First of all, so with your two sheets of 8x8, Make sure if it's directional, it's facing the right way up. And you're gonna score at five and a half and seven and a half. Then rotate your cardstock. And you're then gonna score at two and six. Okay. Do that on two pieces. I've already done that one. Then I have these pieces here. So two pieces, these are for the, the actual backpack straps on the back. So if you want to add them, because there's no, you know, you don't have to stick them on the back if you don't want to. I've even put the little gems there as well to look like hardware. But you'll want two pieces that are six and a half by one. And along the six and a half side, you just want to score at half an inch and six. And just do that on both pieces. And then this pattern paper in the middle is three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. And get that stuck on there before you attach it to the actual bag because it's just easier to do. And I've just burnished the ends there so you have something like that, okay? Then I've got these two pieces which are for the main, these straps here, so you see it goes right across. And these measure seven and a half by one inch. And along the seven and a half side, you just want to score both of them at half an inch. I'm going to talk you through the other score line when we go to actually stick it down, because it's easier to fold it first rather than score it. So just two of those, and you'll put some pattern paper on top of that as well. And those will measure, I've got them all here ready, very organised this time. So you want two pieces that are two and three quarters by three quarters of an inch, and then two pieces that are one and three quarters by three quarters of an inch they're going to be to decorate those two straps that I just showed you and then this one here is the handle on the top so this is a piece of seven and a half by one and along the seven and a half side you want to score at one inch and six and a half burnish those score lines so you have your piece like that you can see the handle but they're actually going to fold under so I'm sticking this down slightly different the pattern piece on top is again that three quarters of an inch but this time it's five and a quarter. In fact, I think that's the same as the other handles. Okay, so that's that one. And then these are the little straps just under here for these to slide through. Again, optional, you might just want to pop your Velcro and just close it like so. You could just pop the butterflies or whatever you're decorating can go straight on top of that. that these pieces are half an inch by one and three quarters, just the two pieces. And then again, this was purely decorative, just so that my sentiment popped, because the sentiment looked a bit lost against the pattern paper. So I've got this strip here, which is the whole width of the bag, which is five and a half by three quarters of an inch. And I've already gone ahead and popped one of the sentiments on there, and I'll show you those in a second. So next you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut a little bit away from the bottom. So you want the half inch tab on your right hand side and you're going to cut up that score line and this one just to the first score line. So you can see there, there's that score line. So I'm just cutting up. Remove this piece completely and then pop a little wedge on that section. And then I'm going to fold that piece under and also just cut a little piece off of the edges of both of those. Okay, so just repeat that on that one. Just make sure that half inch tab is on the right hand side. Okay, so we've got our two pieces. Now I'm gonna grab my glue. Now I'm gonna use this quick grab glue because I'm going over, this is kind of a textured paper because it's got glitter running through it. And then you just wanna stick this one over the top. Just make sure you line up your base score line 
Don't worry if the top's a little bit out because you can always trim that, but just make sure that these score lines, they meet each other because this is all going to become the base. And actually this pattern lines up really nicely as well, so I can just follow the pattern there. Flip it over and just burnish that so the glue's nice and spread out. And then flip it over, sorry again, fold that over and just add your glue to that other tab and then fold that piece over and it should completely line up. Okay, so you'll still have that two, that other two inch score line running along the top here and then we've got our base. So decide what you want to be the front, so I'm going to keep this as the front. Flip it around and you're going to cut down these two score lines to that first score line. Which I can just see there, there we go. It's hard for you guys to see it, I know, sorry. And then again, just going to cut down. I'm just going up to that brown line there. You should be able to see yours, see yourself. But now you can see that's the one that's going to fold in like so, and then these are going to fold in. Now with these ones here, all I've been doing is just folding them. So if you kind of put a little, you can use a ruler actually to do this as well. If you lie your ruler down there and just fold it so you start to get that fold there at the end and just bring this down to close and pull this side to run with the side of here you see like that and you'll see that that triangle piece is folded underneath and then once you've got a kind of rough fold you can just go in there and pinch it together once you've done that, if you turn it over, do the other side as well. So again, just kind of start it off with your ruler. You can put a score line in here with your scoreboard if you want, but I just find this, for me, just a little bit easier. Just pinch it. Again, bring that down. Turn it over. Open up the sides. And just reinforce that fold. You'll be able to feel it. And now we've got that squash closure. And this is where I was saying in the other video, it's up to you whether you want that to be exposed or have that piece fold in and then that goes over the top. So I think I'll do this one this way. You can see how the other one looks, that's it with it open there. I, I kind of like that though as well because I think it just gives it that kind of school satchel look. So it's entirely up to you. But now that that's all done on the top, we can then seal the bottom. So I'm going to lay down this one first and then I'm just going to add my glue. I'm going to add the Kalau on the bottom just to add some strength. Fold that side in. Fold that side in. And then fold all that down. And turn it back over again. Open all of this up. And you can then go in with your hand and just spread that out. Or grab a ruler or bone folder and just spread it out that way. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing it differently so that one is just going to go on there and that will naturally pop up so you don't need to um, punch the finger pull but if you do now's the time with that flat piece here it's just I've used a one inch and just pop it in halfway and punch that out and that will give you that piece there okay and it makes it easy to pull that out but like I said I'm going to be popping for this style is going to go on top. I mean you could still have it on there if you want, it's entirely up to you. Okay so next, so that's the front, so I'm going to grab these long straps here and I'm going to add some glue underneath just there and I'm going to stick it on the back here about one inch in from the side there. So yep that's bang on, so I'm just going to hold that there for a second. And then whilst holding that, I'm going to add my glue onto the other one. Again, just hover that over the edge. You can see roughly, yeah, pretty much spot on there. Bring that down and just fold that one over as well. Okay, and then with these ones, just pinch it around the edge there. Now you might want to do this before you stick the back down. It really doesn't, I don't think it matters. Grab your scoreboard and lay them down and just line them up with a track, any track it really doesn't matter and just go over it and that way you've got it exactly where you need it. So 
and now you get a nice finish when you can fold that round. Okay. Now I've just realised that these are very long. <laughs> you don't need them that long at all. I'm wondering if I used the wrong, the wrong... No, they're definitely the handles. Okay, I'm going to just trim these because I had them at three inches. Yeah. So I would have given... I'm going to pop a little thing that's going to pop up and it will give the, the, the proper length. So you will already have yours now at this point. Yours won't be as long as mine. I don't know why why I've done that. But I'm just going to grab my scissors and just cut across there. And then I'll show you actually because I'd already rounded off the edges on these ones. So just using a corner punch, just pop it in there. Again, completely optional, but it does help slide it through the those little straps. But now, there we go, I've got it where we need it. And then I'm going to add those mats onto the section so you'll see that one will fit in there. Again, if you're using, if you've rounded off the corners, then just make sure you do it with these pieces as well. So again, everything matches. I'm just going to sit that in there like so and get those all stuck down. Okay, then with the handle, so the one where you've got the one inch sections on the end, they are going to stick underneath these here. Now, like I said, if you're going to have that one on the top, then I wouldn't stick these onto that piece. But when I made the other one, that was inside, this was on top, and I stuck glue here and stuck it onto the top so that when you lifted that up they all came up as well. So again it's up to you. There's a, there's a few ways to really put this together but like I said I'm going to do this one this way today. So I'm going to pop the glue underneath the inside of this tab because it's going to stick underneath here. So just make sure it's in the middle like so. And then you can lift that up and just apply some pressure on there. And again pop the glue inside here and just feed that under there and just line it all up. You can just kind of lift both of them up there and just spend a minute just making sure that sticks down. Okay, so now we get that really cute effect. Then I'm going to apply, actually no, I'll do those handles last. Let's stick these pieces down here. So I'm just going to pop a tiny little bit of glue right on the edge. Actually, before I stick that down, I'm going to add the Velcro. So these are just the, I think these are 10 mil. I always forget what size these are. I'll link them and they're on my Amazon store as well. But I'm just going to pop one there and one there and just close that. Carefully prise those apart because the bottom ones might not be completely stuck yet. And then you can really push them down. And then if you open up the box and just pop it down, you can pop your hand in there and really push down on those Velcro dots. And now that closes. So like I said, you just keep it like that. It looks really, really nice. You don't need to add all these extras like I do, but I do tend to go a little bit detailed on my gift bags. And then just decide where you want it to go. So do you know what? Actually, I think I am going to leave them off because I think it's just quite nice to show the two variations and we'll pop the butterflies. I'm still going to pop the butterflies on. You can see how they work. It's up to you how high you put them. I'll tell you roughly. So I've come down, let's do it there, one, well that's one and three eighths, I've come down. Okay, so we'll leave those off. Like I said, try and do two slight variations of this. I'm going to stick those on. Let's stick this along the bottom there. So use this glue here. So this is just decorative, but it does help if you've got a sentiment, help it pop. I'm going to lift it up a little bit just so you see glitter there from the butterflies and I can just line it up with that line so it's quite easy to keep everything straight. The sentiment there has come from this set and it's the sentiment toppers. You get a few other ones there as well. And then for the butterflies I'm going to use these two this time. So I take the top half off and then I have all of these as stickers for other projects so I'm kind of getting double the amount. They do come as one sticker and this is a 3D butterfly but I have used these quite a few years ago and this is how I use them and I just found, yeah, they just last a little bit longer. 
So I'm going to, and then I can just sit that one like so, and then you can just kind of fold those wings just so they're really lifted. There we go. Isn't that adorable? So again, if you just want to keep it like a little, a little briefcase or something, you can do that. But I do love these handles. So you're going to fold that top one down, and you're going to pop your glue like so. Just spread that out a little bit. And then you're going to stick the top one like that. So it just looks like it continues on from this strap here. Do the same with this one. Those ones are dry and then you're going to pop it on this side and bring it down and line it up with the bottom of the bag. And just make sure it's all lined up nicely. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a couple of glue dots. And I've just added four of the glitter gems there. And then I'm going to add, finished off, I did like that little topper, one of these on the very top of the handle. Just like so. And then I already put some of the smaller ones on the front there. There they are, two very cute satchel backpack gift bags or whatever you want to call them <laughs> they're adorable i think so if you like the style of this and you want to check out the larger one like i said click on the link there and then i will look at doing a dinky size i think a dinky one would be super cute so as always thank you for watching i'll link the product that i've used in the description box below check out these tutorials that are popping up now because you may enjoy those as well and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and then you'll always be notified when i upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!